the thing that that I thought about was two young boys had been murdered near where we found Lee's body. So to me, it seemed like this was, you know, a serial killer. The first thing that I wanted to do was to compare our case with the Near Brothers cases. We knew that the two Near Brothers had been killed, had been sexually molested. Lee had been abducted and murdered, and he was sexually abused. The similarities were ligature, shoelaces on the boys, rope on Lee. That meant we had a serial killer, and that meant we really had to get going. There were ligature marks on all three victims. That's a consistency. In my opinion, we're talking about two different murders. Maybe I'm reaching. Look, Lee was tortured, strangled for an extended period of time. Ligature marks on the neck. The near boys were stabbed. They went quickly. Ligature marks on the wrists and ankles. Which suggests two different murderers. The idea that all these cases were related was still really bothering me. They had a guy in custody for the murders of the two near brothers. So I go to see one of the detectives and we discussed both cases. They were kidnapped, molested, and fatally stabbed. I'm telling you, my case is related. It's impossible, CW. Come on, Jeff. The last time a kid went missing around here was what? Four years ago? Now we have three missing kids in less than a month. And you're telling me this is unbelievable? It's impossible because we already had our guy in custody. That doesn't mean he's not my guy. Look, both cases involved kidnapping, murder, molestation. The kids look the same. For God's sakes, what else do you need? I went to town on my guy, CW. And he was already in custody when your kid was killed. I'm sorry, there's no connection between the cases, period, OK? Did you guy keep any trophies from his murders? We didn't find any. Did you look? I don't look at my case, CW. Look at my case. OK? You'll see. It's crystal clear. There's no connection between Lee and my guy. I got my guy. Go get yours. <laughs>